Any question? How do we identify our nefs and become Rabbani? Follow the one who has reached the station of Rabbaniyat, then he will first teach you. Ubudiyah, servanthood. And the real servant will not want to be anything other than a servant. We're talking in terms of tasawuf in Sufism. If you think that you want to become to enter into tariqat, to conquer your nafs, to become lordly, that is complete contradiction. Shaykh Mawlana has said, Shaykh Fendi had said over and over again, we are trying to become nothing. As long as you think that you are something, shaitan is going to trick you. So. Don't enter into tariqat to think you can to become Rabbani. Enter into tariqat to think that you're going to become zero. Let the Rabb do as he wills to you. If you're in complete submission, it doesn't matter now whether you're in his divine court or you're in his stable. Because you're still in his kingdom. And what is important is if you are in his heart, that is important. So many want to be in the court, in the presence of the awliya, but what are they doing? So many just causing problems, making fitna. And there are some smart ones that say, we don't want to be at the court. We want to go to the stables, to the barn, to the toilets, because we are servants. And that one sitting there, he feels a pull, and he says, oh, because that one is there, and he's serving. Then, different blessings will reach to you. May Allah guide us, inshallah, <laughs> and keep us away from being tricked by our ego. Wa bin Allah wa ta'afiqa fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Okay, Avia Rosa, this much is enough.